Hey, what's going on guys? This is I, the Fallen Guardian, or TFG, the one you want to call me. Go ahead, fine by me. Uh, yeah, today we're playing Life is Strange, Episode 1. I decided to do the whole thing, because I have... I just have it, and I was like, you know what? I have these games, I'm going to record them. Screw it. So, this is Episode 1. I'm going to do these in episodes, because... Uh, oh well, let's just get to it. I don't know how I'm gonna record the uh, the cutscenes because there's a lot of them. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see how it goes. First, let's get up to this lighthouse, and there is a big on, ass tornado. You can make it. That's a really big old tornado. Surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. These I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. <coughs> Why Arbus? All right. Because of her images of photo. hopeless faces. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Hmm. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and... If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? I have no idea, but this... Some of the drawings and shit is pretty cool looking. All right. Prologue, gotcha. She I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. I can't it. believe I still have this pencil case. Seriously, though, I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. And any one of you I do love do my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. <sighs> well, what, you... what if Arbus chose to capture people at the height? Of their beauty or innocence, she had a brilliant eye. Mm, like so, she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big oh, fan well. of her work. I prefer. I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Plus, All it's right. perfect for my portfolio, and I have to get my daily selfie quota. Point. And there was honesty Good. about the, which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse, and both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Well, shh. Sh I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? All right. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, um, got two, uh, got two options here. You're asking me, and I don't know. Let's do, I don't know. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? 
Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave Smart. portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's Sorry, faces. Sorry, Max. No more selfies right now. From the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. Textbook. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Okay, now. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. She's a fucking smart bitch. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Yeah, it doesn't look so bad. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Alright, let's get this world. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Oh, God. No matter who wins, this is just a Hi, Kate. Oh. I don't want Hi, Max. To excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is hmm. not for everybody. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Ah, poor Kate. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Huh. Kids this are make a cruel. cool shot. Kids are cruel. Anything else in here that I can look at? This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Mm. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Well, she is a bitch, so. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. I wouldn't. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, you can I talk why. to you for a moment? Yes. Sure. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, let's do that. Let's do square. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Hmm. I mean, he's not wrong. He's not wrong at all. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Yep. All right, let's let's go. <laughs> I can't waste any more time. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You you Welcome to the cute. real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special I'm picture. Of I'm not paying hundred fifty dollars Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. What's the point she plays it so <laughs> sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. Hey, yeah, She's so fucking shy. She took selfies with a giant camera. I hope they don't get copyrighted. <laughs> copyrighted for this. I don't. I think I got copyrighted last time I recorded this. I think I recorded this. I don't remember.
Hello, Evan. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. To all of you, American girls, it's sad to imagine a world without Dude, you. Dude, come on. Leave the kid alone. American girls, God damn. I'd like to bullies, man. be part of the world around you. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar drops out. <laughs> I like this song. This song is decent. Oh, Juliet. I wonder what actually happened to her. I know what happened to her. Don't worry, y'all. Y'all all figure out what happened to her. Also, she's fucking sick. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about him. American girls like dollies with shiny smiles and plastic buddies. The principal doesn't come out of his office much. I wish I Miss Grant is a great science teacher. American yeah, I hear that. Girl. Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Blame. <laughs> uh. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. He seems more uh, nerdy than, than a bro. That's weird. Alright. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. <sighs> ay, ay, ay. <clears throat> okay, let's look around. Aw, oh, come on. Don't be a dick. Don't be an ass. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. Ah, uh, yeah, that's, that's what's supposed to happen. I'm good to flow. What Thanks. does that say? Uh, Vortex Club are jerks. Yep, uh, that, that's, that's right. This poster must drive people to have sex. <sighs> probably. Not gonna lie, probably. <laughs> Can I pull it? <laughs> I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. Well... I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? I don't think so, but you know, anything can happen. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Oh, come on, man. It's actually not a bad photo. It's actually pretty when good. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Yeah, take a picture of it. Hello. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. 
Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> how, how can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit! Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? Why Arvis? Okay. Because of her images of hopeless. Gotta go the whole way, I guess. I did it. Can you give I me actually an did it. A photographer who perfectly I'm captured a human the human time machine. <laughs> My human time machine. Anybody? I'm sorry, that was that was funny. Bueller. Max, don't Hi, freak out. Not yet. We have to take a sh another Why selfie. Artists? Oh God. Okay. Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. What was the question? What was the answer? Has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. It's real. I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation. So I can go back in time. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? The point Can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> but you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me he after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again process. and give him the right answer? Okay. <sighs> I play it. I wanna. No, I gotta keep going. Okay, fine. Thought I could like rewind it, stop it, play it through, and then. Come on. Gotta go all the way back. Now, Max, since you've captured. A... Alright, skip it. Okay, the Daguerre. The Daguerrean process. Invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, <laughs> mainly because uh, it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually Wowzer, finish reading. My old broken chapters. camera is new Max again. Is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. All right, yes. let's be Victoria, an everyday hero. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. 
Oh, obviously, because she's a rich, pompous asshole. That girl needs your help now. Okay, I'm going. It's fine. Okay. Okay, Max. Retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! I need a hammer to break it open! People trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your Come punk on, ass nah, nah. Get that gun away from me. No. Ah, you to fucking it open. Holy really? Shit, I picked it up. Bitch. If I can reverse Jesus time again, I can help her. All right, fine. Damn. I even picked it up. What the hell? Trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do One not too much in it. freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Dude's a dick, man. Hello, Mr. You look Principal. a little stressed out. Principal? Are you okay? Principal. I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Oh, what do we do? Oh, either way, we're fucked. Oh, either way, we're screwed. Um, do we report him or do we hide the truth? Let's hide. Let's let, let's just hide the truth. Fuck it, let's just hide it. I just got sick in class. Um. Female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with the class. Please. Fine, asshole. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Nope, because either way we're screwed, so we're gonna have to... We're just gonna have to uh, just do our own thing. Hmm. Place doesn't look so bad when you think about it. At the first glance, it doesn't look so bad, but you know, there's always hidden in it. Yep, gotta make sure. I gotta make sure. Storm's over this way. Yeah. 
I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. I gotta make sure I warn her, and then fuck shit up with them, cause they're assholes. Ooh, sprinkler, that's nice. Okay, I need to, need to go inside, but you know, they're blocking the fucking way, so can I get inside, oh, assholes? It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Why? What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, yeah. Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, don't worry. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now. Why don't you go fuck your selfie? Hmm. Oh right, I tamper with it. God, I'm stupid. <laughs> I know what I need to do now. Okay. Whew. Let's tamper with this. Okay, let's see if this works. I don't think it's gonna work because I know damn well that uh they have to be I know okay so we're, gonna do, we're gonna skip it all the way back skip it even further back we're gonna tamper with it skip it okay let's see if this works I need to get them to get up sorry Samuel skip 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 okay Oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. Victoria. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Hmm, I'm a... I don't like making fun of people, dude. I don't. Let's come for, let's come for her. I am sorry. Come That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there will be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Awesome. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. Yeah. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Au revoir. Okay. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. Okay, I don't... Ah, screw it. I'm just gonna go ahead and get in there so we can, uh, get this finished. Let's enter and get everything done. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. I brought your dryer so I can watch some flicks. While I study, if you need it back, just track me down in my room. Okay. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Now, which one is Dana? You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or run. That's Dana. Man. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. So stupid. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are 
ridiculous. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Hmm. So, which one sounds... Juliet Watson, you be nice. <laughs> I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. All right. Victoria's room <laughs> is right there. Okay. I have to check the laptop first because that's where a I'll lot. give Victoria props for not posting my photo and for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Taylor, so sad to inform you that I totally punked Juliet and Dana just now. And all I had to do was mention that to Juliet that I saw nasty sex from Dana on Zach's phone. Dumbass, believe me. Yeah, I think dumbass is one word. Okay. <laughs> and so I expect they'd be in a dorm room pretty soon. Juliet. Juliet deserves this for slutting Zach away from me. As for Dana, who gives a shit? Uh, get out your popcorn. XX, VC, or Vicky Chase. Victoria Chase. No, I don't know. I said Vicky. Okay, let's print this email and leave. This <sighs> better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. It should. <coughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. There you go, Juliet. Juliet, read this. Horse. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me mm. free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Thank you. I need that, actually. <laughs> Almost Stop done. Stop him, big Get the flash drive, and then I'll go see Warren. Should I even ask why there's a pregnancy test there? I'm not even going to look at it. I'm just going to take the flash drive and leave. Must protect <laughs> my precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. <laughs> uh, I could be so bad. Let's see what's on this flash. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self respect. I think that's a porno. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think it's a porno. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Alright. Yes, Warren, I got your flash drive, man. Oh, wait. No, it's after this. It's right here. Oh, I forgot. You good, man? Fuck this shit. Ow! 
Dude, come Damn, on, man. I better rewind. You good, bro? Fuck. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Okay, dickhead. I got you. I'll fuck you up, bitch. I ain't got no time for your shit. Move. Move. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Aye, aye, aye. You're welcome, Victoria. Even though you're a bitch. Max, that was You're awesome. my bitch. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no problem. You have quick reflexes. Years of mad dodging skills. Well, these never change. That's why you're better off. They're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. You do you. Have fun. <laughs> Alright, let's go give this to Warren. And... Oh, God. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Ah, uh, intervene or take a photo? Let's intervene. Let's go! Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Good, you remember every fucking bits and pieces of this goddamn conversation, motherfucker. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. You're welcome, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe Let I should rewind and mind my own business? Nope. Nope. We help someone, that's all that matters. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. All right, Warren, let's get your, your flash drive. You. Please. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. Huh? There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. <laughs> really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so... That drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Booty <sighs> booty. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> you had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Circle? No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. What? <laughs> what the fuck? 
Okay, let's do, we have to do triangle. We have to do triangle. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. He really wants to get Max into his car, damn. Hmm. <sighs> Which one? Let's 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 just forget about it. Not I don't want to speak about it. This is kind of a crazy day for me. I mean, I literally think I'm going crazy. I may be a pest, but I'm a good listener. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw, now. Hmm. Answer what me, What are you bitch. talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new, I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me, worry about yourself. Do not analyze me, I pay people for that. Worry about analyze yourself, your ass. Max Carl. Analyze your ass. I could call the police. Do it! The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude! Oh, damn. Hey! I bet that hurt your head. Alone. Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait in the down. bathroom! <gasps> all right, all right. Oh. Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Go! I got this! Oh, damn. Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! What a dick, man. What a dick. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Mm. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? I have no idea. I know he's a press card. And an asshole. Your friend really stood up for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? <laughs> I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Yeah, sure. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Oh, yeah, this game was great. Broken? Oh, man, are you?
Are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. <laughs> home shit home. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Alright, let's find some music.